So here's what you need. You will need old photos. I'm using a, a wood wreath. This is from a local craft store. It's about $10. Um, a pair of scissors. Of course, my hot glue gun. So what you need to do is that you need to start placing your photos on top of the wreath. So you can mix the photos, you can use any type, you know, if you want to mix black and white, if you want to mix colors, whatever you want to do. So what I'm doing now is I'm kind of placing the images on top of each other, trying to find like a nice way to use them. Ooh, this is from a boat. See, I think something like that looks really good. So, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to start to glue. I'll start on one side, add a little hot glue, put it on the reef. So start by gluing the big ones and then you can glue the smaller ones on top. And if the images are a little too big, you can always cut them down to size. Like I need a small one right here, but like this one is a little big, so I'm going to... Sorry, Uncle Charlie, I'm going to try not to cut off your head. I think this is such a unique creative idea for the, you know, all those old photos you have in that shoebox in the attic that we all, well, not that I have an attic, I don't, because I live in Brooklyn and we don't have that, but, you know, if, if you have one. I love this woman here, let's put her on top. It's actually the grandmother herself, so she needs to be shown. There we go. And then, you know, if some of the edges are sticking up, you just take a little glue, back of your photos, just a little bit, and glue it down. And you see how fast it glues it. Just take seconds. That's what I love about it. Let's have a look. Oh, that's really cute. I like it. <clears throat> so here we go. A wreath of memories for Donna's grandmother.